Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. Today we're going to make a belated birthday card. We'll be using Create a Critter. We're going to use this basket weave embossing folder from Darice. We'll use some paper from this Simple Stories Snap Color Vibe paper pad. Love this one. And we'll be using two Cards TV stamp sets. We're going to use this and that. And we'll use O nuts. And for the inside, we'll use Cards TV mixed messages. And where is that? Sorry, I missed your birthday. So I'll get everything over here that we need for this shaped birthday card, and we'll get started. I decided I wanted my little belated birthday card to have a fall theme, and I wanted it to be a shaped card, and I wanted it in the shape of an acorn. So, in the Create a Critter cartridge, I went to page 32, and under Accessories, you have the background and the top of an acorn. Now, I had to cut these pieces on real dial size. If you try to use the paper saver mode, it will cut them out too small, and you have to go way up on your sizing to get the size you want. So, for this card base, use real dial size and you don't cut both pieces at the same size. And let me show you. For the background of the acorn, I used real dial size and I cut this at five and a quarter inches. And this fits perfectly in an A2 size envelope. Now for the top of the acorn, I cut this piece at three and a quarter inches on real dial size. And you can see they fit together just right and you can also see the texture on the top of this little acorn and that's where this Darice basket weave folder came in it just gave it lots of texture and I really really like that now I'm going to get my adhesive and get these two pieces put together and then we'll come back and I'll show you the image that's going on this card it's really really cute for the image on my little shaped acorn card, I'm going to use this little squirrel that's also on page 32. And I've cut the background. Let me get the pieces over here and I'll show you. The background for the squirrel I cut out of chocolate brown. Then this layer under layer 1 I cut out of a kind of a medium brown that goes on there. Then he's got a little stripe on his tail, and I cut that out of some craft cardstock, which is the same as the top of the acorn. And that's going to go right there. And then for the lighter color on his face, and right down here on his little belly, I cut that out of some ivory cardstock, and that's right over here under layer 3. Now I'm going to get him adhered together, but before we put him on the front, I'm going to show you how we're going to put the card together. I'm also going to have him on this little stump, and the stump is on page 61. So we'll turn over there to that, and I've already got it all adhered together. Here's the stump right here. I did not cut the layer with the face, but I did cut layer 2, which is this little top piece, and then layer 3, which is the leaf. And you can see that right there. That's really cute. That's going to go down here for the little squirrel to be sitting on. And I'll have all the cut sizes and supplies that I use for today's card at the end of the video, guys. And all you need to do is go to the end and hit pause, and you can jot everything down. It's real simple. Now, let me show you how we're going to put this card together. Now, I've cut another white piece for the back of my card base and I'm going to put these two together with a brad but first I want to show you I went ahead and stamped my sentiment on the inside and this is sorry I missed your birthday let me zoom in a little bit and I've got a brown brad here it was white but I took this Bic woodsy brown marker and went over it several times to make it the color that I wanted. And I'm going to put these two together. Line them up as best I can. I think that looks good. 
and we're going to put a hole right here for the bread. Hope that hole's big enough. And go ahead and get this together and open it out on the back. And now we're going to put everything on the front that's supposed to go on. But you can see you just slide it open to read what's on the inside. Sorry I missed your birthday. And I cut a smaller acorn and it's going to go right down here. And this acorn is the same one that's on page 32 under accessory. So I'm going to take my two-way glue pen and go ahead and stick this little acorn down and then we're going to get the front of this cart finished. I think it's going to be really cute. I decided it would be really cute to take some brown and white baker's twine and tie a little bow up there around the bread. So I went ahead and did that. And I've got my little acorn stuck down on the inside and my sentiment from the mixed messages set. Sorry I missed your birthday. So now we're going to go ahead and get our squirrel put together and get this little stump on the front. I think we'll go ahead and put that on. And I'll use my two-way glue pen for that. There we go. Very cute. Now I'm going to put the stripe for the squirrel on first and you can see it's cut out exactly where you're supposed to put it. I'll use my two-way glue pen for that. And then get his body put on. And then we're going to glue this little part to his face and his little tummy on. And then I'm going to pop him up on some foam tape. So I'll go ahead and get all of this put down. Here's my little squirrel all put together. And I've got him on one thickness of foam tape. We're going to go ahead and put him on that stump. right there. He's so cute. Now for the sentiment, I used the Cards TV This and That stamp set and I stamped O Nuts. I'm going to put that right there on that little banner. And then I've cut another little acorn and this is also on foam tape and I'm going to put that right there. And that's going to be so cute. So let me get my two-way glue pen and get my sentiment stuck down and we'll come back and take a look at this finished card. Here's my finished belated birthday card. We've got O nuts and then we slide this over. Sorry I missed your birthday. And I put a little glue dot right up here under my bow to hold it down so it wouldn't come loose as the card is opened and closed. And I wanted to show you it fits perfectly inside an A2 envelope just like that. I think it turned out really cute. So now I've got a card ready the next time I forget somebody's birthday and let's hope I don't. <laughs> this is a card I don't want to send because I don't want to forget anybody. Thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with me today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and got inspired and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.